Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to episode three of Vegas Showbiz Family Style. Um, today's gonna be a little bit more focused on music. I've been getting some encouragement from some people about uh, talking about music, showcasing my guitar collection. I've got some interesting stories with some of the guitars. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing that a little bit. This first one wasn't really planned, to be honest with you. It was more of an impromptu jam session with my daughter, Ava. Uh, she came over and asked me if she could play around with this short scale pink bass that I'll be showing in a minute. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. So I plugged her into uh, an amplifier and let her start just kind of making some noise. Her brother and sister became interested and they came over and started kind of noodling around a little bit as well. Uh, but they lost interest and they moved on and I was like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll play with you. Um, so she was all for it. I grabbed the camera, quickly just set it up and we just jammed for a few minutes. Um, Ava does not really have experience playing the bass, but she has always shown a little bit of interest. Uh, this pink bass that you're about to see is something that I've had since she was a baby. It's a shorter scale and I've always thought that maybe someday it would be a great instrument for her to start learning music on if, if she wanted to do that. In the meantime, I use it for a lot of my home recording stuff as well. So she was playing around, I knew what tuning it was in, it was tuned a half a step down to E flat, so I grabbed this green beauty that I'll talk about in a second as well. And we just started making some noise and uh, hope you enjoy it. I've got more to come. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the video shorter, pick a guitar, tell the story of it, and then demo it for you so you can look for more of those in the future. For now, I'll just jump into the two instruments that we were playing that evening. Uh, so starting off with my guitar here, this is a 1996 ESP Horizon NT. The NT stands for non-tremolo meaning there is no whammy bar, no tremolo bar here. Uh, and that's one of the things that makes this guitar really interesting. I was actually looking for a Japanese-made super strat style guitar with 24 frets, dual humbucker pickups, and I wanted the hardtail, the non-tremolo. Um, I don't have anything against whammy bars. I have other guitars that, that have tremolo systems on them, uh, but for this particular instrument, I wanted a hardtail, and that made it a little bit harder to find. Getting a hardtail is uh, they're just more rare for this style of guitar. Um, I got a killer deal on this thing. I mean, when I bought it, it was about 20 years old. Um, but uh, and it, just like a car, anytime you start putting aftermarket products on a guitar, it tends to go down in value. In this case, the pickups that are on it, these are Steve Vai Evolution pickups. I've been extremely pleased with the sounds of these pickups. Uh, not only can you get really full, rich humbucker tones, uh, but the, the second two positions in the middle, um, they split into single coil tones very nicely. Um, I recently read an interview with Steve I and he talked about how important it was that he could split uh, his Evolution pickups uh, and get a nice single coil tone. Uh, there's one that sounds a little bit more Telecaster, one that sounds a little more Stratocaster to me, uh, but they're very usable. Um, when I'm jamming on uh, here with Ava, I was just on the full bridge humbucker, just letting it rip the whole time. Uh, but it's a very versatile instrument. Um, another thing that's aftermarket about this guitar uh, is this stop tail piece here. Um, I don't know what was originally on it, but I know it didn't come with this. Uh, but I like it. The fine tuners are really nice. Um, I can dial in my tone uh, or my tuning very quickly with this. Um, so it's a five way selector, full bridge. Uh, this is one of the single coil tones here, and this is the other one. I'm not exactly sure if it's like these two outside and these two inside or how they do it, but I just know from the tones that I get from both of them. They're both very usable. Then I got this position here. I believe this one is actually both full humbuckers. That's how it sounds to my ears. It doesn't appear to be a single coil. And then all the way up here at the end is full bridge humbucker. 24 frets, rosewood fingerboard, made in Japan. This was in the golden era of ESP. You can see the ESP logo right there. Uh, they're so fantastic, these guitars. I have a couple other pieces from ESP and I gave one to my nephew as well. Um, one thing that is notable about this guitar, it's a bolt-on neck, similar to the Fender style. Um, and when I'm in those single coil modes, the combination of those with the pickups and the bolt-on neck um, it, and the longer scale length, it's just got this snappy, very Fender sound to it that I really enjoy. Um, it's a vintage instrument. I mean, it's 20, over 20 years old at this point, but it plays so well. I love it. Uh, this one will be in my collection for a long time. I don't have a great story about acquiring it. I bought it online, sight unseen on Reverb, but have been so pleased with it and I don't see myself getting rid of it. Anytime that I want to practice like arpeggios and just more like full uh, fretboard type things, this is like one of my go-to guitars for that. So that's this one. And now let me show you the bass that Ava was playing. 
Okay, I'm back with the pink base, as it's known in our family. This is a Johnson short scale, uh, four string base, rosewood fretboard, 21, 19 frets, 15, 17, 20 frets, excuse me, 20 frets. Um, short scale meaning the literal length of the fretboard here, here is shorter than a long scale base would be. If you sat them side by side, you would really notice the difference in size. Um, I mostly use this for recording. Um, it's handy to just have a little electric base around for recording, but I've always sort of uh, assumed that this would become Avis someday. The shorter scale will make it easier for smaller hands. Um, I really think that the bass is a great way to learn music theory uh, on a stringed instrument. It's more about solo notes uh, rather than chords on a guitar, for example, so it's a bit easier to grasp what you're doing and, and, and get your fingers to cooperate, in my opinion. Um, let's see, I bought this from a friend of mine, I want to tell the story real quick, uh, a guy named Jim, when I used to work at Amazon, uh, he was a manager at Amazon, and uh, before getting into the tech industry, Jim was a professional jazz bassist on the East Coast, uh, decided to go back to school, he got his degree, I believe even masters in computer science, was an early on employee at Amazon, and is now retired, good for him, obviously, great guy, I'm a big fan, I'm going to share a photo uh, before I get to the jam session of Jim and I at the Amazon office on Halloween day of 2013. Uh, he was dressed up as Heisenberg from the show Breaking Bad and uh, it, it was a really cool costume but still friends with him to this day. I, I've uh, been happy to take this bass. I knew that I, I was getting a quality instrument from him just based on his background and how much he played. He still plays a ton to this day uh, but this one will stick with us and hopefully Ava will take it over someday. So anyway, that's it for now. I want to keep the videos on the shorter side. Here comes our jam session. I hope you enjoy it. If so, let us know. I'm planning on doing more guitar stuff. I've got some cool stories to share and I want to demo them. So we'll see you in the next one, but uh, enjoy this one for now. All right, thanks. If you want to play guitar with us, you should have asked. All right, is this for being a show or no? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. That's fine. It's like, you gonna switch guitars or? Yeah, you gonna change out? Please say, if you have you to, to if you're changing, then you have to choose purple, because I haven't seen you. You gotta come purple. back in because that just made the camera better. Yeah. Ready? All right, ready? Do I start off open? Yeah.
it didn't hurt when we, we, we